most serious note. Oh, let's make Nyan cotton. So this is how I made Nyan cat for Armageddon. Stop scratching your face, there's hair everywhere. There's chalk all over my face. So I made Nyan cat for Armageddon 2017 in Wellington and it was super fun and it was very interactive because it had a 7.5 meter rainbow tail. It took about three days to make Nyan Cat and it was super fun to do because I had my little fox buddy who helped me make it. And then I took it down to Wellington in my van and had a blast with it on the... So Armageddon was a three day event, I believe. Friday, Saturday, Sunday? No, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and I took it down for the middle day. No, I went for Saturday and Sunday. No, I went for Sunday and Monday. I went there on the Sunday. So yeah, took it down there for the Sunday, and then I was gonna wear it on the Monday too, but turns out I was too exhausted. So I just did the one day. But I'm sure to take it on many more adventures in the future. Make it fast. So you wanna grab yourself a bunch of supplies. Here's what my supplies kind of look like. You'll also need a cat for reference. Grab a Nyan Cat picture that's on a grid so you can see all the squares and where you're going to need to put all the different squares and stuff and stuff and stuff and shit. Make sure your cat watches your every move so you don't screw anything up. My Nyan Cat pixels were 4.5 square centimeters so I went and got some paper and drew a bunch of 4.5 marks across it and then drew lines across them. Once you've got all the squares done, I marked out all the spots uh, that were going to be black and then all the squares that were going to be other colors yes and then cut them all out like so this part takes a lot longer than you think but it's actually quite fun to do just like so <laughs> now that it's all done ha -ha, it's time to trace it all out so here I am tracing out one side of the neon cart and then we'll just flip it over and do the other side but first I must roll around in the glory. The glory. Round two. So we flipped it over and got more cardboard and then traced it over for a second time. Hmm, trying to think if there's anything important I should mention about this. I guess just make sure the cardboard is like good. Yeah, use good cardboard. So here you can see the tail is on this end and the head is over here. Next up, you want to, this is kind of an interesting part, I, uh, <laughs> we measured out how much cardboard we're going to need for going around the entire Nyan Cat and then you want to mark uh, where all the folds are and fold everything into its correct direction. This one, this part was quite tricky but we figured out a good system on how to do it. My, my fox friend here, Kira. He showed me how to make these little cool folds in it for gluing it together, which was really helpful. And then here we are flipping it over and uh, hot gluing all the little tabs together. So yeah, it was really helpful having a buddy to help me make this project. I don't think you'd be able to do it by yourself because you need someone pushing on the inside of the cardboard. So while I'm here pushing on the, uh, the hot glue part, he's on the outside kind of like pulling it and pushing it in the right direction as I am. Um, sorting it out Yee. and then we also have to make sure not to burn each other while we do this shh I burned him <laughs> hot glue hot glue hot glue hot glue look at all the hot glue lots and lots of hot glue hot glue hot glue hot glue <laughs> so much hot burn glue burn glue for burning all of your bits <laughs> burn all the bits okay hot glue done so here's what it all looked like after we hot glued all of the hot glued bits for one side. So this is still just one side and then we are going to flip it over and I'm going to kind of be in like a cave. Uh, that's going to be interesting, but yeah. Hey, we'll do, we'll, we'll find a way, we'll, we'll find a way, yeah. <laughs> Injury. <laughs> <laughs> I used a bunch of this uh, tacky spray because I find when I tape over the cardboard holes, this tape still kind of flicks up after a day or two. So I used a tacky spray that dries within a couple of minutes, like dries a little bit. And then you put the tape over it and it really holds it all down perfectly. So 
So the reason why I'm putting tape all around the edges is to cover up the cardboard holes that you would see and it just gives it a much cleaner, smoother finish once you paint it. Painting! There's not much to say about this. I am painting. Oh, I guess I can say that this is the, uh, the Pop-Tart part. And then this part here is the head, which is why it is grey and not tan or cream. Next up, you have to draw those same lines you drew before all over both sides of the Nyan cat. So here, they're going one way. It, Dougie thought he would help out. Actually, he really liked the Nyan cat. He would go inside of it sometimes. It was quite cute. And then do it the other way. Just get to it the other way. And you gotta flip it over and do it again, which is the really annoying part. <laughs> Right, so here we go. I'm going to draw X's around all of the black pixels first. X, 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 Pink! Paint the pink! Paint the pink! And then paint it grey! <laughs> Look at his cute little face! He's getting a face! Yes! My flatmate was just staring at me so I made him paint a little bit too. Perfect. Oh my gosh, painting in all these squares was quite the mission. Like I wanted everything to be perfect. So even though this is sped up like super fast, I'd say it probably took me like three hours maybe to paint just one side of Yarn Cat. Maybe even more. Maybe it was like five hours. It took freaking forever but I'm really happy how it turned out. I love doing the eye dots because once you paint them white, it just looks like it's complete. I gave it a nice black trim around the edges so that it looked much more cleaner. And then it was time for the rainbow trail! The 7.5 meters of rainbow. So what I did was I went online and bought a bunch of rainbow flags for I think they were like $8 each. Once you sew them all together, you gotta find the uh, middle of the rainbow trail and fold it in half like so, but make sure it's uh, inside out. See, like now this is inside out. And then you can sew the red uh, tops all together so that you've got like a hood. Yeah, so people can go underneath it. And this is the only way to find out to make sure you've got the center of all the rainbow flags. I'm just double checking here, making sure, making sure, making sure. This was probably the longest stretch of sewing, so I'm sewing right across the tops of all the flags. So 7.5 meters of sewing on the red top of the flag. <laughs> Do 
turn it inside out. The last person in the rainbow trail can put it on their head like this, so it's not like falling down or slipping off. Some people like to be able to see out of their costumes, so I put a sea hole. <laughs> you you see through the sea hole. So I just got a sh uh, what do you call this? A knife? A sharp knife? Knives that cut skin. One warning. War warning. <laughs> it cuts skin. <laughs> Use carefully. Yeah, pop it out. You pop that out. And this mesh is called buckram. That's what they all tell me anyway. And you can kind of see through it. Yeah, it actually worked really well. Look, I was running around at Armageddon and I could see perfectly fine. It was great. Yeah, measure that out properly and then get your hot glue gun and glue it on the inside because it looks better on the inside, not the outside. Logic. <laughs> That cuts people! <laughs> I also cut out a red triangle because you need the triangle to fit across the costume like this because math and science, I don't know, it just works like this. You need the red triangle and then to sew that to your flag. So that was an afterthought because I didn't think things through. I like to cross bridges when I get to them. I, it, it works for me most of the time. So yeah, then you hot glue the red part of the flag to the costume at the back. You would think hot glue would not work very well, but it worked. It did not fall off at Armageddon. Hooray. Uh, yeah, I just hot glued the uh, cardboard bits that were flappy to the rainbow flag. Yeah, just like around the corners and stuff. And then hot glue on. Hot, hot glue on. Hot glue it all on. I also hot glued on the tail. See? It works! It works beautifully! Finish him! You're at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> 
<laughs> you give me the pot of gold. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. 